I wanted to do a more complicated product of prime calculation and I'm um, going straight to question 9 again in terms of the standard it's great to see but it's there's an awful lot of it and um, it's unlikely to actually occur in the exam because there's, there's just too much work um, for this to be an exam question so I'm going to do it anyway just for the sake of practicing where are we now where's our pen let's go black right I've got here write each of these numbers as a product of its prime factors and then use index notation. The first one I've got to do is 42, so you've seen the other video and it goes as quickly as I can. 21, 3 goes in 7 times, 7 goes in once, I've got 2 times 3 times 7 makes 42. Check it, twice, 3 times, right we're there. Next one, 60. Again, they're going to make me do factors and multiples and things like that in a minute. So 30, 2 is into 30, 15. 2 doesn't go, 3 goes into 15 5 times, 5 goes into 5 once. So I've got 2 squared times 3 times 5 makes 60. And the last one I've got to do the same thing to 72. So 72, shove in a 2, uh, 36, shove in a 2, 18, shove in a 2, gives me 9, shove in a 3, gives me 3, shove in a 3, I've landed. So I've got 2 to the power of 3 times 3 to the power of 2, or 3 squared, should come to 72. Right, that took about 4 seconds. Now, use your answers, and here they are, answers. Use your answers to write the highest common factor, or find the highest common factor of 42, 60, and 72. So, 42, 60, and 72. And I want to find the highest common factor. Well let's work with the twos. Um, what have they got in common? A single two, two twos, three twos. Well what, what they have in common is a single two. What about threes? One there, one there, two there. So they can each give me a single three. A seven there, a five there, and nothing there. So really the highest common factor of 42, 60 and 72 is 2 times 3, that's what they've got in common and that will take us to 6. Now the lowest common multiple I predict will take me an awful lot longer to find. It says find the lowest common multiple of 42, 60 and 72. Here we take the highest factor for each one. 2, 2 squared, 2 to the power of 3. Ah, so 2 to the power of 3, got to have it. 3, 3, 3 squared, take the 3 squared. 7, 5, nothing extra there. So I must take the 5 there, otherwise 60 won't go in. I've got to take the 7 there, otherwise 42 won't go in. Unfortunately, this is a non-calculator paper, and so I've got to try and work this out without a calculator. Well, that's 8, that's 9, that's 5, and that's 7. Well, I know 8 9s are 72. I learned that when I was a kid, and I know 7 5s are 35. My next, my next task is to multiply these without making too much of a mistake. So here I go, 72 over 35, just crashed into Catherine's Chapel again. 5 2's 10, 5 7's 35 plus 1 is 36. Get rid of it because I've used it. Put down a 0 because I'm working with 30. 30 times 2, or 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 7, 21. And look at this answer, it's horrific, isn't it? 0, 12, 3, 4, 5, 2. Now just contemplate for a moment. The lowest common multiple of 42, 60 and 72 is 2520. In other words, you keep adding on lots and lots of 42s, you keep adding on lots and lots and lots of 60s, you keep adding on some 72s, eventually you will arrive at 2520. That is the next number where all these little multiples of 42, 60 and 72 have their final common meeting point. And it's unbelievable, isn't it? So really, if you had to write lists of 42 and 60 and 72, it would take you so long to get to there. Now, I know this seems a little bit complicated, and uh, it is a little over the top for grade C, I have to say, but it saves you an awful lot of time if you go around this method of finding products of primes for numbers and then selecting the appropriate parts of the, the, the products themselves in order to find 
the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple. HCF, really, really easy. Uh, uh, LCM, where you take the biggest power for each one, plus everything else that's left dangling, like the 7 and the 5, and you work it out and you arrive at the answer eventually. And I certainly don't want to do any more of those. There is a lovely question in the assess that I really can't resist doing, so I want to do it. Uh, the only one worth doing really is question 10, a grade C rated. It says, James races two cars around the track, and there's a lovely picture on page 29. The first car takes 42 seconds um, to complete each circuit. The second car takes one minute, in other words, 60 seconds to complete the same circuit. The cars start together from the starting line. How long will it be before they are together on the starting line again? In other words, imagine this car's whizzing round. Whoosh, there it goes. Um, 40 seconds, one lap, two laps, three laps. Uh, this this one slightly slower. Uh, one lap, two laps, three laps. Now eventually, these two these two cars will meet on the start line again. Where? Well, we got to find their lowest common multiple. In other words, I'm actually quite interested in this actually because it's interesting. Right. I've got to find where these things meet up again in the future. I'm not going to write a, write a whole list of 42s and a whole load of 60s and see, just keep adding them on. I'm not doing that. I'm going to do it the proper GCSE way. 2's into 42, 21, uh, 3 goes into there 7 times, 7 goes into there once, landed. 2 times 3 times 7. Now, same with the 60. Um, 2 goes into 60 30 times, 2 goes into 30 15 times. 3 goes into 15 5 times, 5 goes into 5 once. I've got 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. It doesn't say I've got to use index notation, that's not what the question's about. It's really finding where these will meet up again in future. Right, here I go, I want the lowest common multiple. In other words, at which time in the future, how many seconds will they meet up again at the start line? Well, 1 there, 2 there. Remember, they take the highest power. A single three is single three, so a single three is. Oops, that was a bit laggy. Do it again. Um, single five, and we've got a single seven. Okay, here we are, go again. That is four times three times five times seven. Well, four threes are, better change color because I'm in the green zone here. Four threes are 12. There you go. Uh, Five sevens of 35. Let's just do a quick sum here. Um, 35 times 12. Uh, two fives are 10. Uh, two threes are 6 plus 1 is 7. Drop a zero down. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 3 is 3. I've used you up. What have I got here? 0, 12. Uh, what's that? Do again. 0, 12, and 4. 420 seconds time. Now, that's beautiful. Unbelievable. Is that really right? Must be. Anyway, they'll meet up again after 420 seconds. Um, does it ask me to put that into minutes? Maybe I should put it into minutes, shouldn't I? So if I take my 420 seconds and divide by 60, then I'm going to put my seconds into minutes. Let's count to my zeros. And what's 42 divided by 6? Do you know? Seven. So they'll meet again after seven minutes. That deserves an exclamation mark, and I'll sign it off. And I'm completely happy with that. That is unit one. Go and study it. Be successful.